How you doing? Can I give you one of these? Yes. There you go. Respect what you guys are doing, because it's, as you can tell, like the school is very liberal, and it's, it yeah. seems, because I was, I was having a discussion with a bunch of my friends yesterday about this, and it seems to them like this whole thing isn't black and white, that humanely, it's like a gray area, but they need to understand that like in the Bible, it's, it's just black and yeah, white. Yeah, and it's how could it be a gray area when you're killing a living being? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, this, if left to come to term, will not turn out to be a giraffe, it won't turn out to be an elephant. Avon. This is a baby. Okay. And unfortunately, as like this woman who's holding that hater blocker sign just was over here telling me, she's very pro-life. And we ask people, what does that look like? Are you guys Christians? Yeah. So we ask people, well, what does your Christianity look like in a culture that's murdering over 3,500 babies every day? Do you know here in Texas, pro-life Christian Texas, over 60,000 babies are murdered every year? Yeah. Okay. That's more than die in car accidents, more than have, than have died from cancer. It's more than that die from terrorist bombing buildings. It's the number one cause of death in Texas. So what are the actions you're taking to stop abortion? We stand at schools, we stand at churches, we stand in town squares, we stand at clinics. We stand wherever we can stand and bring forth the message. I respect it because it's not like y'all are trying to get people to, to like y'all. It's it, You don't care. It's just to get the message. Uh, I'm not here to be liked. I'm here to tell the truth. Was Jesus liked? <laughs> they killed Jesus. Okay. Was John the Baptist liked? No, they cut his head off. And so was Ezekiel and Isaiah and Amos. All the prophets. Here you go. We're not here to be liked. We're here to speak the truth. Because as Jesus said, it is the truth that will set you free. But in many cases, it's also the truth that will condemn you. For he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. And nobody comes to the Father but through him. And we're asking people, what does your Christianity look like? What does your pro-life look like in a culture that's murdering 60,000 babies a year here in Texas. Like, if, if somebody went over to start beating on him and murder him, would we stand here and say, I'm against that. I, I, I really don't think you should do that. Take action. Take action. You know, faith is a verb. Okay? Yes, we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Jesus Christ alone. Okay? But then we are to bear fruit worthy of that repentance. What did James, the brother of half brother of Jesus, what did he say true religion looks like? To rescue those. Okay? To stand up for the widow and the orphan. Who's standing up? If we actually thought that this was murder, would we be standing here saying, Hey, you internet troll, hate blocker. She's a hater blocker, and she's standing here telling me that she's pro-life. See, most people, that's why, we're not pro-life. It's funny to me because most of their arguments are just, they can't come up with anything other than insults to the people that are... Right, and, they, and then they give you the finger. Okay, see, we're not pro-life. We're abolitionists, okay? Just like back in the 1800s, they were abolitionists of slavery. And they were hated just as much. Okay, if, if we were standing in Nazi Germany, okay, and we were standing up against the murder of Jews, what would people like this be looking like? Okay. Right now. And this isn't the murder of Jews. You're right, it isn't the murder of Jews. Well, in some cases it is. Okay. Yeah. Some cases some it's the murder of Jews, some cases it's the murder of gays, like black people, gays, white people, yeah. males, but they're females. But all sinners, they all will be, right? You're conceived in sin. That's that's from the beginning. Yeah. So might as well kill them before they sin, right? No, actually, because you are conceived in sin. So you kill somebody. Well, always, like no matter what, you're what's just that? A sinner. You're just a sinner, like always. Always. Oh, okay. All right. You got no choice. Well, you have, to you have no choice. That's right. You are conceived in sin. But what happens is, that's why we need a savior. Yeah. If you do not have a savior, you'll die in your sin. Yeah. You'll die no matter what. Well, everyone will die. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
but it's a matter of where you're going to spend eternity. Where's eternity? Where or yeah. what? Where do we where do we go? Well, it depends. That? If you're covered in the righteousness of his son, you will spend it in his presence in heaven. But if you're not, you're covered in the blood guilt of your sin. God's word says that the very best of your good deeds are like filthy rags before his eyes. What about a child who's born uh, into a family that doesn't hasn't heard of God, uh, and mm-hmm. then the child dies, does that child go to hell because they've never heard of God? That doesn't... That doesn't uh, I can't speak for that child because there are some that will go to heaven, there are some that will go to hell. God's word declares in Romans that all the heavens and the earth declare his glory. So nobody is without excuse. You cannot say, oh, I didn't know. How do you think that tree got made? How do you think you got made? How do you think that building got made? Did somebody build that building? Yes. Of course. Yes, of course. Did somebody build this road? Yes, of course. Of course. Did somebody build you? Yes, what, are you, what is the question? What are you, what are you leading to? Yes. What, what, what I'm saying is, is that nobody has an excuse. You can't say, I didn't know. Because as God's word declares, all the heavens and the earth declare his glory. So no one on the planet can say, I don't know about God. So that's right. Yeah, no. no, that's not what I'm saying. That's what God's word says. Okay. You see, I can give you my opinion. See, like, that's what most of these people are doing. They'll give you their opinion. They'll say, oh, murder's wrong. Why is murder wrong? Okay. Why is murdering Jews back in Nazi Germany? Why was it wrong? Why was owning black people wrong? Because the Supreme Court said owning black people was okay. And in Germany, the law, man, said, oh, it's okay to kill Jews, right? Who's to say? Well... We're t- here to tell you this is it, God's word. So you're here for religious reasons then? We're here to open up eyes and shine a light on a holocaust. Everybody thinks everybody thinks that Hitler is a bad guy, right? Hitler was a bad guy. If anybody deserves to go to hell, it's Hitler. Right? He murdered 11 million people. Okay? You know how many people have died in this country this way? It's over 61 million. And that's just the ones we count. You see, because we don't count the ones that are killed by chemicals, by pill, okay? We don't count the ones that when you go to Walmart and pay $49.95 for your abortion pill. We don't count those. So the number is actually a lot higher, way higher. But this is just the ones we count. And not every state in the country reports their numbers. The biggest killing states in the country don't report their numbers. Texas reports. Florida does not report. New York does not report. California does not report. Okay? So, the number is way higher, but it's 61 million. Where do you get that information? Those are statistics. Where are they? You can find them. Here, Brian, give him one of these. I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Combining homosexuality and abortion. It's all the rainbow. It's what does that say? What does that say? First off, God initiated the rainbow, not the homosexual community. And what does that say? No. Love has a one yet, which is uh, corresponding to the love wins, which is directed towards. Love hasn't won yet. We're murdering 61 million people. How is lo- love won? Do you get one of these? What's that? So does that make it right? Well, as long as people are going to be murdered, then we should make it okay. People are going to be raped. Should we make that okay? It doesn't mean it's okay, but it means it's going to happen. Who's to say it's not okay? God, right? God, right. Right. God says it's not okay. You're going to say that God is the one who gets to determine if it's not okay, but God killed the entire planet. Do you? you He didn't kill the entire planet. He killed the entire planet, but... But a family, one family. One family that was I'm righteous sure. and was doing his will. I'm sure they were humans, weren't they? They were all humans. Okay, well then they were sinners. But they followed God's They were all sinners, but they followed God's no commands. That's right. Wow. That's why he wiped he really it out. Up then, huh? If y'all really wanted to make a difference. He messed up? No, actually he didn't mess up. You see, in the garden, that seems like a he mess gave up. you free will yeah. to do because he would hope that you as a free person would worship him who created you instead of saying, oh, sorry God, 
I like my yeah, way better. Well, you call it free will, but it's really a decision <laughs> that he knew they would make. What's that? You give, you give, okay, it's like uh, you put a mouse, okay, in a, in a situation where you have two different chambers, okay? Ma'am, don't block my sign. That's blocking my right to free speech, ma'am. I'm not blocking your sign. Thank you. And you have one with cheese and one that doesn't have cheese. Of course the mouse will go to cheese, okay? And let's say you've trapped the mouse here after he eats the cheese, okay? And this one, he can get out and get all the food he wants. He doesn't know that, though. So what you've done to Adam and Eve, as God, you've given them a decision you know they'll make, which will lead them to their downfall. So, I mean, what do you... Actually, you're, you were right in one thing you said. He knew they would fall, okay? That is why the entire Bible is written, not just a piece of it, all right? Do you have permission no, from every one of these kids' parents? <laughs> they know they're being filmed, ma'am, first off. There's a camera on my chest. Second off, my Texas state law, they do not need the permission. But thank you for your opinion. Now, as we were talking about, all right, the entire Bible was written. That's why the entire Bible was written. It was written because God had a plan, a redemptive plan. So now those who do not want him... You got what you got. All right. Those who do want him, he made a way when there was no way. You see, all have sinned, as you knew, you said before, and fallen short of the glory of God. And the wages of that sin is death. It's eternal death. But God, in his love and in his mercy and in his forgiveness, made a way when there was no way. And that was through his son. But as it says in Hebrews, if we go ahead and say, well, I'm going to sin. I'm going to walk against God because he loves me and he saved me. He said in the book of Hebrews that if you sin against him after receiving the knowledge of the truth, you don't know him. You don't hear him. And he doesn't hear you. The only thing he hears from an unrepentant sinner is a prayer of forgiveness a prayer of repentance. I'm, then he hears your prayers. But, okay, not everyone in America is Christian, so why does this have to do with women's rights and have abortions? Women's rights. Women's rights to kill another person? A person they, that they grew in their, uh, in their stomach. I mean, they, they, they created a person. That they it's have crazy to me because people, 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 people seem to yeah, forget. Yeah, yeah, they, they have to birth and care. They have a human being. That is the way of nature. Yes. Okay. It's crazy to me because a lot of my friends, they were talking to me, and they, they seem to forget about a adoption as an option, just mm -hmm. to deliver the baby and then just put it up for adoption. And one girl said to me that she didn't want to go through the nine months. She'd rather kill the baby. Yeah, and that's what I said. I said, so so a little bit of pain. It's like, well, baby, it's not a little baby, bit of pain. God's it's a lot image, of pain. So you're basically destroying God's And absolutely, yeah, those nine months are a heck of a lot of pain, but I mean, you're, is it really worth taking the life? Do you see, a lot of people would like to say that, okay? So what do you want by the life? Do you, do you think a life is just being alive? We don't even have to discuss that because because science and the Bible both declare that life begins at conception. No, the Bible says that it must be true. Then. I said, did you did you hear me or are you just listening? And science, to, no, I heard and that. science yeah, okay. I heard that. Science declares that life begins. If you found a fertilized egg on Mars, life would be declared on Mars. Okay. So life that that's not a debatable topic. All right, because if, if you just say, well, they're not a life until they have a heartbeat, well, then you're just putting your standards over what God's Word says and what science says. So, wait, your goal here is to try to, like, persuade um, people to be against abortion, right? We're here to bring the truth, all right? Just like if, if this person was being beat up, I would say that that's wrong. Just like if this person was being murdered, I would say that is wrong. Okay, so you're and this abortion. person is being murdered. Abortion. Um, however, I just think like going about this with the graphics and these say like well, hatred, bigotry, intolerance. Like the people who aren't for abortion, I don't think that this would like um, influence them to be for your cause. I think this may just further push people away. We're not here to have anybody be for our cause. He's giving a voice to the dead infant. All right. Thank you. We're here being obedient to God's word says, okay? And God's word says that we are to be, as he said, a voice for the voiceless. When Nazi Germany, when Nazi Germany was liberated, when Auschwitz was liberated, General, you dropped your glove, man. Ma'am, you dropped your glove. Um, when Auschwitz was liberated, General MacArthur, General Bradley and General Eisenhower, they liberated the camp. What was the first thing that they did? They rounded up everybody in the community 
and made them walk by all the dead bodies. Why? So that they would see what they were okay with and that it would never happen again. When they were fighting to make slavery illegal, they didn't say, hey, let's make slavery illegal except for the light, just for the light colored black people, not the dark colored, those were, or not those under 20. Over 20, it's okay. No, they said for all. And then they also said, with signs, pictures of slaves whipped, beaten. Because you have to put a voice to those who have no voice. I have, I have a question. So, obviously, God, God forgives for, for your sins, and that's all, always up to Him. If a woman, if a woman is a Christian and it comes down to something terrible, and she, for whatever reason, ends up getting an abortion, but she asks God for forgiveness, that that's just up to Him, right? Okay. Let me first correct the first thing you said. God forgives sins. Yes, God forgives sins, but He forgives sins of a repentant heart. Okay? It is a repentant heart that God seeks. It is not a prideful, self-righteous heart. It is not a heart that says, I can sin because you forgive me. That's what I was talking to him about before in Hebrews. God's word declares, just like Paul said, shall we sin that grace may abound more? Heck no. Right. You're using God's grace and his forgiveness as a license to sin against him. Now, if somebody who has murdered their child comes to God with a repentant heart, he will heal them, he will hear them, and he will forgive them. Okay. If Hitler, right here. I'm speaking right here right now, you can wait your turn, okay? If Hitler, on his deathbed, said, God, I was wrong, forgive me, have mercy on me, I am a sinner, he would have forgiven him. If Osama bin Laden, before they put that bullet between his eyes, said, God, forgive me, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done these things. I am a wretched sinner and I need you. He would have forgiven him. He's the same as someone who lies to their parents about something as simple as a pen, stealing a pencil or something. I mean, what, that's the equivalent? What's that? Is that the equivalent? Like, like any sinner is, this, is a sinner in the eyes of God, right? Isn't that? Isn't no. That oh, okay. Okay. All sin is not the same. Okay. God is very clear in that. Okay. All sin will keep you out of his presence, okay. but not all sin is the same. So if I were to murder 11 million people and then before I die say, God, I, uh, and mean it, you know, and mean it, and say, God, I believe in you and I, uh, I, I'm ready, you know, I'm ready to go to heaven. No. And then uh, someone See, lied. And that's the difference. Oh, because that's not a repentant heart. Oh, okay. A repentant heart cries out to God and seeks his forgiveness knowing that he is a sinner. That is why we preach the law. That is why God's word says, thou shalt not murder. Okay? We preach the law because unless you understand the law, you cannot understand your need for forgiveness. Unless you understand how lost you are, you cannot have a savior. Okay, now what were you saying? Okay, so. He waited his turn. I'm not Christian. I don't believe in God, so explain all this God nonsense to me. But then you should have been listening. This is what we've been talking about the whole time. And what were you saying? Oh, um, do you believe that God is all powerful? God is all powerful. God is all knowing. God is omnipresent. He's omniscient. Omnipotent. That's right. Um, so would that mean he's responsible for the deaths of these babies? Is he what? Responsible for the deaths of these infants? If he's all powerful? No, because it was you. It was me. Did it? Who created me? Who created you? God, he right? created you. Yeah. But who decided, uh, I don't want to, you know, I know you said I can have everything in the garden except this. I want this. That was Adam. That wasn't me. That was you. That's the sin of Adam. That sin is carried down through all of humanity. Really? That is why you need a savior. You couldn't have just restarted again and made us not sinners? No. That is not what he did. No. Now, now, if you wanna, if you wanna talk about that, then you're saying, God, you know, pfft, you know, you screwed up. Your plan, I don't like it. You should have done it this way. Does the pot say to the potter, "How did you make me like this? <laughs> Who do you think you are?" Does the creation say to the creator? Hey, who do you think you are? Well, yes, plenty of the time. Yeah, right. lots of. But people. that's rebellion. That's rebellion. He, she wants you. That's rebellion. Do you have any more of the rape pamphlets? 
I don't understand. You're, you're the one being cheated here with this people flipping you off. Yeah, that's cool. a little messed up. You're just saying what you believe, and this lady over here is trying to block your sign. Well, she doesn't believe that they're killing people. For the sheer fact that, as I posted this morning, this isn't the rape one, but this is another one. I have a rape one down further. What's that? Who wanted the rape? I want it, and he doesn't. I'll take one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I get one, sir? Sure. We've got to get going, but it was a pleasure meeting you. It was a pleasure meeting you. My name is Matt, by the way. We'll be out here all week. Stop by. Continue talking to us. Thank you. God bless you. You have a good day. And thank you for being kind and courteous.